Hey, it's Ann Riley Caldwell, not your ordinary agent, and I am here talking about tips, tricks, and secrets, particularly for home buyers and the home buying process and as it relates to finances. Um, this is a more detailed discussion that goes along with a video that you might want to check out, The Ten Commandments of Home Buying. It is a number of thou shalt not do certain things um, in trying to get pre-approved and even more importantly after you're pre-approved and under contract and trying to get to that closing date. There are a number of things that people don't maybe think about and they just kind of go and do them and then it keeps them from actually either being able to go under contract or causing them to be under contract and not be able to make it to closing and buy that house after all. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications to this YouTube channel. I and my team are constantly turning out videos as fast as we can in order to help you understand everything that we can help you understand in the home buying, home selling process about the market in Middle Tennessee and so much more. So let's dive right in. Um, so we're talking about the 10 commandments of home buying and this is commandment number five. Thou shall not buy furniture before you officially have a home to put it in. Okay. Put it in official that means you've gone to closing you've signed the documents the seller signed the documents and you have the keys and you know 110 percent that home is yours um, if you don't know that then don't buy furniture for it because you may be taking it back um, or you may be finding friends that can store it for you there's all kinds of issues there but the reason for that is unless you know for sure and you have talked to your lender for sure um, there is a debt to income ratio that factors into every single loan and whether or not you stay qualified for that loan uh, there's also credit score issues depending upon whether you opened a credit card at the local furniture store in order to buy this furniture or not there's another video about not opening up credit cards so anyway check that one out um, but there's there's just reasons why you don't want to make any substantive changes or spend any significant amount of money uh, depending upon your personal financial situation significant is very uh, unique and it's very specific to you and to your situation but before you do anything talk to your lender make sure that you have the room and the margin to do whatever it is that you're thinking about doing I know it's exciting I know you want to get into your home you know it's a holiday weekend and there's this amazing furniture sale going on but if you you know barely got pre-approved and you're hanging on I know it's tempting, but sales will come and sales will go and there will be places to find something that you absolutely love. So again, before you do it, just talk to your lender and make sure it's okay. And if it's not okay, then you're just going to have to exercise some self-control that none of us like to do and uh, wait a few more days before you get that furniture that you fell in love with. Um, so anyway, don't also, before you put it on layaway, before you commit to anything, talk to your lender. Okay, I'm in Raleigh Caldwell, not your ordinary agent. You can reach out to me. Let's talk about this and anything else that you might want to talk about in the home buying process because uh, I love helping you get into your new home. Uh, you can reach me at 615-930-0313. You can go to my website, notyourordinaryagent.com, uh, nyoa.info for short. There's all kinds of ways to follow me and find me through social media. Uh, reach out to me however you're comfortable. Let's talk about partnering together. Let's talk about me helping consult and get you through the real estate buying or selling process let's do it successfully let's have fun doing it let's talk about your real estate goals and let's work together to help you accomplish whatever your goals are in real estate